Here we have a Kenwood 850, uh, 850S. This model has the uh, antenna tuner built in. And the problem with this radio was uh, that uh, you turn it on after a few moments, uh, the thing would start uh, increasing frequency by itself or decreasing frequency. You could turn this button and change the direction uh, that uh, it would start uh, moving. It would go up to 30 megahertz. You could uh, turn this knob uh, uh, counterclockwise. It would go down to, I think, 400 kC and stop. So uh, there was something causing it to uh, scan up and down the band and uh, totally unusable. So anyway, uh, we figured out what the problem was. Uh, the solution was uh, to clean some corrosion from uh, this control board and uh, the memory battery, which is right in here, had leaked out and uh, was partially shorting out a couple, uh, two or three traces. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, tear this apart and uh, replace the battery while we're at it. Um, maybe uh, get some more years of use out of uh, the old girl. Okay, if you've got this far, uh, top bottom cover comes off and then you've got uh, four screws uh, right here, here, and on the other side as well. And then uh, this front panel will just uh, tilt forward like that. Super easy. You want to pull this connector off gently like that. And here you see the memory battery. There's no need really to take the board out. Uh, you can pull the battery up like this. I'm going to replace it anyway. And uh, we check the voltage on it and uh, came up with uh, less than a volt. Okay, evidently uh, the other side of the battery is grounded, so we got uh, about half a volt. About half a volt. So uh, it's done its done its due. It's time to be replaced. Okay, you can just get a soldering iron underneath it and go ahead and um, lift the battery up like that. And bend the battery on back and you can take a soldering iron and uh, get the other two leads. And uh, go ahead and pull the old battery out. And here's what the board looks like after the battery was removed. Um, the positive, positive side of the battery uh, connected to these two points. The negative side connected to this point. And after the old battery was taken out, uh, it was totally dead. And I want to show you uh, where the corrosion was at. Uh, you see a little bit of white junk here. Uh, I've scraped uh, most of it off, but uh, this is where the uh, corrosion was. And um, if you take a Q-tip and a little bit of uh, isop isopropyl alcohol, uh, run over it and try to clean the board off a little bit uh, before you put the battery on. Be good. You can see on the... Uh, on the old battery, um, it was showing some corrosion. I don't see it at the moment, but uh, I probably knocked it off. Anyway, uh, here's what we'll be replacing it with. Uh, three volt um, mercury battery. I guess these are mercury. And this only has uh, two leads to solder on, but uh, we'll make it work. Okay, we've cleaned the uh, remaining junk off of the of the board with a Q-tip, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and we're ready to uh, solder the new battery in.